I've stared at them long enough. Sometimes it felt like they were talking to me directly. My name's Andrew. I like to study how neurons talk to each other a lot. Uh, and I like to think about how that changes the way they behave in a biological setting. I, I think that's really important. I spent a lot of time studying it. Here at Recursion, I'm trying to take some um, very complex cell models to study neuroscience and then build whole new pr platforms so that we can break new ground in biology. The most fun um, when it comes to growing neurons is that they start out um, really small and, and balled up like many cells do, but then they grow out these these processes and they find connections with one another over time and they even move around a bit in the in the cover slips. It's actually really fun to watch them grow and find those connections with each other. They are not the easiest cell types to grow and work with. If you don't do it right, uh, they become prima donna cells. You have to be very careful and very observant with them, but it's all fun. Um, watching them grow in contact with each other and then give you these be this beautiful data at the end is just, it's, it's great, it's fantastic. We don't make decisions without data to help guide us. We need to understand, um, you know, how the neurons are behaving, uh, like I mentioned, how they talk to each other. Uh, they don't talk to me directly, even if, you know, as long as, you know, I've stared at them long enough, sometimes it felt like they were talking to me directly, but without um, clear, actionable, you know, questions and data that can, that can help inform the answers to those questions, we can't make decisions on how to improve or um, understand disease. Um, and deliver new medicines to patients, which is why we're, why we're doing this. My favorite value, um, if I had to pick one, was uh, we act boldly with integrity. Um, the reason why I like that value so much is because uh, I typically am like really careful and cautious about like how I design my experiments and I like to see like incremental small improvements. But that value has given me the sort of green light to try like really, really crazy experiments that have the, the their high risk, high reward. You can get a ton of payoff off um, from them. A lot of them fail and that's what research is about. Um, but that value of acting boldly with integrity gives me both the green light to pursue like really a little bit more out there experiments that might give huge, huge amounts of payoff, but also to um, really double down on what our strategies are for making sure that the data that we get is sound and relevant to human disease and human biology. Well, that's my favorite, because it lets me have more fun. <laughs>